so my daughter Danique is going to do the macaroni and cheese. She's the expert of it. Welcome back to 100 Bells Kitchen. Yes, girl. Go show. Go do your thing. Show them. So the pot is boiling with water. Um, added some salt and then I added this full box and half of another box of elbows. Um, and then you just take it and you take like a spoon like this with the holes in it. You mix it around so that the noodles aren't sticking to the bottom. And you kind of you're gonna take them out when they are partially cooked because we cook them again in the oven. Okay, so we'll show you later what's going on in One Honey Bell Kitchen. Yes! Hi, so now that our macaroni is all cooked and strained, and so it's, um, I put a little bit of butter on it just to make sure they don't stick together and put it in this pan here. Now we're going to make our sauce. So first we take some butter, melt it down a little bit. Seeds melted a little bit here. We're gonna make wait for it to get a little hotter. Turn down the stove a little bit. Now we're gonna add in about two, two teaspoons, two tablespoons of flour. And then we're just gonna whisk, whisk it together here. So it makes a roux here. Add my the rest of my flour. So you can see that the flour is coming together with the butter. We're gonna cook it for about maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, just to cook out the flour taste. This is to go with our sauce, thicken it up a little bit, give it some more flavor. So here, just cooking this out. Okay. All right, now we're gonna add some milk. Turn my stove back up. I do want the roux to burn. You have to make sure that the flour and the butter mixture doesn't burn, or it's gonna taste like burned butter, burned flour. So let's add some milk. Two. A little at a time. You have to make sure everything is incorporated together. As you go, we add more milk. He's thickening up as we go. And that's what we want. Want it to get a little thicker, and then we'll just keep adding our milk. And then so we can add some of the evaporated milk, because this is whole milk. So we can add some evaporated milk with it. Because this really gives it that rich taste. So we're just going to keep adding our milks until we're done. It's about two cups of whole milk, a can of regular milk since we did two boxes of macaroni. Then we're going to add our cheese and our seasonings to it. incorporating my milk so we add a little bit of annata just to give it a little color um this is really like cheese coloring honestly so we're gonna add it a little bit to our to our sauce just to give it a little bit of color more. just so it can get a color because we're gonna keep adding some um I'm gonna keep adding some milk to it so it's gonna like you know get a little wider so we want to make sure it has that nice deep cheese color so I'm gonna add some Velveeta cheese here into the pot so this is the Velveeta we use the block of Velveeta and um, about a fourth a block of cheddar cheese here so I'm just going to keep incorporating our cheeses and our milk slowly. And then after our milks and cheeses are incorporated, I'm going to add in our spices like um, some onion powder, some 
garlic powder, maybe a little bit of more uh, salt if need be. We're gonna see with the cheese and what happens. So this is our cheese at the edge of the line. It's thick, but it's you know thick. Uh, it's thick, but it's thin enough to go through all of the noodles. Um, I'm just finishing up the seasoning here, tasting it, seeing if it needs anything else, and that then we're gonna get ready to pour it over our um, noodles, which is over here. I put a little bit of cheddar, so I'm waiting for the cheese, and then this will melt together when I add the cheese on top. And like. To, we're gonna mix it and fold it in. That's it. Oh. You do this. Oh yes. This is good. Yeah. Ready? Right. Yeah. I bet. Wait, 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 wait. Let me make a boomerang. Let me make a boomerang. And just pour it all on top. Here. Mix it. That looks raw. Oh, yeah. It looks wow. real good. Raw is another word for cool. But well, people don't know that. So when you say, okay. mix it up all together. Ta da! Smells delicious. Yeah. Oh my God. Smells good. Yes. It's thickening up real quick. Yeah. And you're always on. I know why. Okay. I know why you have this little Does it need to be more? You want to put some on top? I need to add some more milk. I know why you have this. Look at you walking forward and going back at it. Hi, so now looking down at our macaroni, we're done. We spread it out into the pan. Now I'm just going to sprinkle a thin layer of the shredded cheddar cheese on top just to make a nice little crust when it goes into the oven. We're going to put it into the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it just depends on the crust that you want on top. We like ours to be nice and crispy. So we're going to just watch it, make sure it gets a little bit of color. And you are welcome to add more cheese if you would like, but this is our end result here right before the oven. I'm going to just put it in and you'll see it when it's done. Here is our macaroni going to the oven. And let it crisp up and cook. Our macaroni is done. We just took it out, we put it on the top just to look um, broil, just to get like a little bit of crisp on the top. See like, you can hear like the crust of it. And so like, let's move it on top here. Let's move it on top so I can close the oven. And I'll show you guys the cheese and everything. And then here it is, and they just take a piece here and they just lift it up and then you see all the cheese and how it's still gooey with the nice crust on top. Subscribe and like and um, go to our YouTube and watch our videos. Have a great day. Bye.